Hello, Celine. I'm Brady Noctrieb. And I'm Joshua Gregory. This week, we're covering the Majorettes after an eventful season, as well as listen in on one of our own field hockey players. We conclude with an overview of the upcoming winter season. All of this and more on this episode of Hornet Nation. As the fall season comes to a close, many teams have been winding down in preparation for the winter. This includes the Majorettes. Dylan Tabman brings us more on what it's like to be a Majorette. The Saline Majorettes. If you've seen one of our football games, you'll likely see them. We've had the privilege of interviewing one of them. I actually started when I was in second grade. I saw a camp in the community ed flyer over the summer and I told my mom I wanted to do it and she thought it was a really good idea so from there I started twirling competitively with the Celine Twirlets and then when I came to high school our coaches for the Celine Twirlets is also our coach for major ups, so she suggested that I try out with my sister. There are some concerns when it comes to baton twirling. Well, we're throwing sticks up in there. It's really hit or miss. It's always kind of scary. If you throw your toss pad, you could hit yourself or someone else. But in the end, it's very rewarding and fun, so. Like most good performances, it's all practice to some extent. Well, we have a trick list, actually. So all of the different things, you have to be able to do specific tosses with a specific amount of spins or illusions or jumps some gymnastics, just a bunch of things that you learn from basic twirling. It's definitely a lot of work, so you have to be very committed to it, but in the end it's so rewarding, definitely worth all the time that you have to put into it. But if you stick with it, you'll get something out of it, I guess, yeah. Reporting for Hornet Nation, this is Dylan Tatman, signing off. Thanks, Dylan. Congratulations to the Majorettes on, this, on their season. We hope to see them again next fall. Recently, we had the privilege of miking up the field hockey team's own Kaylee Jarvie to learn what really goes on inside her head. Alex Katowski brings us out of the stands and onto the field. Normally, we don't start filming for Hornet Nation until the winter season, but when we received an email saying it was someone's goal to be miked up on Hornet Nation, we couldn't resist. Kaylee Jarvie, captain of the Varsity Girls field hockey team, is a senior this year, so this could be our last chance to make their dream come true. Welcome, Hornets, to Miked Up. This is about to be the hypest we've ever been. And if someone doesn't bring it, they're going to get punched in the face. Celine played Pioneer on this rainy Wednesday evening. While not their best game, the players still had fun. I'm not kidding when I say this is the best day of my life. All my dreams have come true. Last time we played Pioneer, it was only 2-0, and we've really improved since then, so we really thought we were going to come in and hopefully win this game. Who's on ball? Who's on ball? Let's get one. I think we have a really good team this year. I mean, compared to how we looked at the beginning of the season, we're a much different team, a much better team. I mean, we beat Skyland last week, and they're the number one team in the state, so that was a big win. And yeah, I'm just really proud of my team and how far Send we've come it. this season. Training. Unfortunately, the Hornets lost this game with a score of 0-6. to six. Reporting for Hornet Nation, I'm Alex Gutowski. Back to you in the studio. We are so happy we could fulfill this lifelong dream of Kaylee, and even through the team's loss, we're glad the team had a good time. While the fall season may be coming to a close, winter sports are just getting started. And what better way to start the season than with a full overview? Leah Gorman brings us more. The winter season is sooner than you think. In fact, it's already here. Hockey and cheer have already started, and more sports roll out in just a few days. Our athletic director, Miss Mantha, is just as excited for the winter season as our athletes. I am very excited for the winter um, season. There's a lot going on. So of course we've got our ice hockey team. We've got skiing, boys and girls. We've got bowling, boys and girls. Uh, basketball, boys and girls. Gymnastics, wrestling, competitive cheerleading, swimming. There's so many awesome sports that Celine offers to our students. 
Whether you can be physically present or not, you can tune in via our live stream service. NFHS is our networking streaming service and there is access for all, not just students, to watch. So if they're sick, they're unavailable, they're traveling, you know, grandma and grandpa who live elsewhere want to watch, they can also see too. This year we implemented a new policy where students get in for free for regular home season games uh, if they show their student ID. Students that want to watch these events can show up to one of our many facilities. We have um, our main gym, our ox gym, swimming pool. We're also very fortunate to have a gymnastics room, um, our wrestling room, well, the ice cube in Ann Arbor, and then we have bowling, which is at Station 300. We have so many amazing sports. It is mind-boggling to see the amount of athletes and the successes they have too, and, the, and they're having fun doing it as well. We have like 550 to 600 athletes per season participating at the high school alone. So when you talk about like almost two thirds of our population play a sport at least once throughout the year. It's, it's amazing to see the involvement in the community and the support. Reporting from Hornet Nation, I'm Leah Gorman. Back to you in the studio. What an exciting winter season this is looking to be. We wish the best of luck to all the teams throughout the next few months. For more information, you can contact the Athletic Director, Ashley Mantha, at the email on your screen. That's all for this show. We hope you have a fun and relaxing Thanksgiving break. Be sure to follow us on Twitter for the latest show updates at Nation Hornet and at Celine Video on YouTube and Instagram. I'm Brady Noctree. And I'm Joshua Gregory. Have, have a great, great day, Hornets. Hornets.